Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. What up, motherfuckers? Welcome back to Open Mic Night. Today, we are going to three open mics. We're going to The Outlaw, The Bird, and The Comedy Club. But first, I have to go to a baseball game today. So I'm going to go watch the Royals play, and I'm going to try and think some jokes while I'm at the baseball game. So first stop, Royals game. <laughs> Boom. Yo, we just got back from the Royals game. That was a crazy game. We won it with two outs in the ninth. We walked off. And I bet $10 on the game, so I won $10. And my aunt and uncle got on the Jumbotron for the kiss cam. So, pretty good game. And I have been thinking of some jokes, so let's go ahead and write them down. Muse, please help me write some amazing jokes today that will be hilarious tonight. All right, boys, I wrote the jokes. You ready? Number one. I've been trying to find the cure for cancer. What if the cure for cancer was something stupid? Like you have to take a bath in butter or eat 20 hot dogs. You may think it's stupid, but has anybody tried it? All right, number two. I decided I'm gonna kill myself to try and raise awareness for suicide prevention. My suicide note is just gonna say, don't kill yourself. It hurts really bad. All right, number three. You should be nice to everybody because everybody is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. Like maybe their mom has cancer or maybe their dog died. And I think it's true. I personally am fighting a battle. I'm trying to get every part of the Lego city. Still don't have the fire department. Also, I'm trying to defeat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. So you guys should definitely be nice to me. Plus, my mom has cancer, but that's not my battle. That's more of her battle. All right, boys, those are my jokes for today. And my mom doesn't actually have cancer. I was just joking. We're going to go to the outlaw, the bird, and the comedy club. I'll see you fuckers there. We're going to the outlaw first. And we are on our way to the outlaw cigar shop, the first of the open mics. We made it to outlaw cigar, baby. One of the biggest cigar shops in the nation. Let's go sign up. Hello, John. Uh. Yo, we got Phil at the open mic. He's yeah, got the man. rainbow hat we for. Outside. You know what it is. Is that man. for Pride Month? It's, uh, wait, are rainbows gay? Yeah, it's, it's a gay hat. <laughs> rainbows Fuck, are gay, dude. dude. God damn it. I told my mom, get me a hat, make sure it's not gay. She comes back with a gay hat. Bro, I think it, it, it's not bad, though. So we are going to take it. Oh, there, there's only three comedians here. <laughs> Funny, you may have seen him on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all over the internet. It's the very funny Michael Blake! We did it, baby. We actually did have a little crowd this time. There's like eight guys sitting in the middle of the room. But I sucked. All my jokes were dumb and they weren't that funny. Right when my set started, this guy started walking out. So I like called him out to try and be funny. But apparently he didn't speak English. Where you going, pink outfit man? <laughs> oh, andale pronto. I told that joke about trying to cure cancer and then some guy was like, wait, don't hot dogs cause cancer? So we got in like a discussion about hot dogs and shit. Uh, I've been trying to find the cure for cancer. What if the cure for cancer was just like something stupid? Like you have to take a butter and bath, or you have to like eat 20 hot dogs. It could be the cure for cancer, you know, like, you guys are, what? Well, maybe they could cure it as well. The hair of the dog that bit you. Look, it's exactly, it's, it's highly experimental research. It's all about the number of hot dogs you eat. 
The point of the matter is that the government is refusing to fund my research. They're calling it pseudoscience. And I think it's big pharma They're trying to stop me. They make too much money on this whole cancer thing. All right. That was, uh, if you guys want to Venmo me for the research, though, I just need enough money for 20 hot dogs. <laughs> we can get going. I told that joke about killing myself. Guys, I'm going to kill myself to raise awareness for suicide prevention. My suicide note is just going to say, don't do it. It hurts really bad. Look how sad my mom is. And then I told that joke about being nice to everyone, and that shit bombed. You should be nice to everybody, because anybody here could be fighting a battle that you know nothing about. Like, that guy's mom could have cancer. That guy could have a micro penis, you know? That guy's dog could have died. Me, personally, I'm fighting a battle of my own. I'm trying to get all the different parts of Lego City. Still haven't gotten the fire department, so yeah. The whole thing could burn down any time. It's really stressful. We should just be nice. I'm also trying to fight the Ender Dragon in Minecraft, so a lot of battles going on. Plus, my mom has cancer, but that's not really, has no bearing on my life. It's not really important. I told a few older jokes too, but none of them did great. It was honestly a pretty bad set. I'm probably not going to tell any of those jokes that I wrote today again. I'm just going to go to the bird and have a good time and tell whatever jokes I want. Good news though, I did just get booked for a show. My friend John Sheezer was at the open mic and he wants me to host a show on Tuesday. So Tuesday night, I do have a closed mic night. We're going to be doing 10 minutes. Should be fun. But right now, we got to go to the bird. So I'll see you fuckers at the bird. Yo, we made it to the bird, bitch. It's open mic night. We on the streets of KC doing a Wu Tang. Oh, that tasted weird. What flavor was that? What flavor was that wrap? Mystery stick. Did you eat it? Shout out Madison Damn. from oh. Topeka. Topeka, Kansas. Six, 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 man. Yo, we got two fans of the YouTube channel in there. I'm really nervous now. I thought you were talking about me and Cole. No. Well, oh, these guys, they don't even fuck with my YouTube channel that much. Hey, I'm just on it all the time. I liked your last three videos, guys. Actually, Taylor does fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Taylor Schwilling. You might have seen him in the comment section. Knows that I'm not a magician. Bam! I'm gonna hit this corner. Magic magician. I make the rabbit disappear. I I really spoke it in your ear. Oh fuck! <laughs> you found me. I'm in the magic ears of a stone cold killer. Nobody is a. Yo. <laughs> All right, boys. She stole my microphone. I have no idea what she was talking about, but I don't take. Uh, Can you hear me? That was my next I couldn't mixtape. hear you. It was my next mixtape. Open mic about to start. We got a decent little crowd in here. Guys, there's the fans of Open Mic Night right there, that young couple. They're fans of the YouTube. They don't know I'm secretly filming them right now, though. But please put your hands together for your next comedian, Michael Blaine. Yo, shout out to Cole and Natalie for the support. It was great. Come out and watch Michael, man. He's the bomb. He's Come the, out. Even anytime. better in person, honestly. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Open mic night on top, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! Natalie, you got anything to say to the people? Come down. Don't be a heckler. <laughs> yeah. Come down. Don't heckle. <laughs> Yo, we just did the bird. I'm giving Andrew Yonke a ride to the comedy club because his car is broken down. But the set went pretty good. Or it went all right, I guess. Uh, there's like a really loud guy in the back talking and he offered to buy me a shot, but then he got kicked out. What's that? What are you guys talking about in the back? Are <laughs> oh, you doing shots? Shots! You want one? Yes, please. You want one? Yes. Bomb shot? I don't care. Just... Okay, all right. I need it ASAP. I did end up getting a free shot from the bartender afterwards though, so shout out. I started off by telling that joke about uh, killing my mom during childbirth. My mother died during childbirth. Yeah, when she was giving birth to me, 
she got split in half by my giant cock. <laughs> split her in half when, I, when she was giving birth to me. No, uh, that's a joke. <laughs> my mom did not die. She didn't give me a natural birth though. Her pussy was too tight for me to get out of her vagina. So she had a C-section, came right out of the stomach, got air lifted out of there by my dick. I was like, I thought I was getting abducted by aliens. Turns out I was just being birthed. And I don't remember what happened. Told they they yeah. started talking real loud. Tried to oh. you a shot. Yeah, those fucking dudes kept interrupting me the whole set. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Bro, this is really important. I'm literally telling you about how I got birthed. <laughs> I told, I'm telling about how my mom died and how it was a joke. And you're back there. No, all right. I'm going to kill myself to raise awareness for suicide prevention. Yeah. My suicide note is just going to be like, don't do it, it hurt really bad. And eventually I told that joke about fucking my grandma. That was a good one. It's classic. What are you boys up to? Just chilling. You guys get pussy? Hello pussy? I got a story for you. So I was fucking my grandma. Right? Stay with me, stay with me. Hardest part about fucking your grandma? Digging up the body. <laughs> it's a lot of manual labor, guys. I'm not joking. The fucking is easy. The digging. Even after she dies, she's making me work for her pussy. <laughs> grandma. And then at the end, I gave a little shout out to the people who came from the YouTube. Shout out Natalie and Cole. Yo, we got any fans of the YouTube in here? Woo! Let's go, baby! Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. I like film myself day to day. And uh, I started watching it back and I realized like I might be mentally challenged. <laughs> kind of a crazy it's thing. Bad. What? It's bad. I fucking love you, dude. You have any jokes you want to hear before I get out? You told the ones I want to hear. Let's go! I love you guys, goodbye. I was like, anybody watch the YouTube in here? They were super cool. They were super cool. I hung out with them after the show. They bought me a shot. So I got two free shots after the show. One from the bartender, one from Cole. So shout out. I didn't realize you had this many shots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm two shots deep. I'm giving Yankee a ride. Fuck it. I'll see you motherfuckers at the comedy club. We made it to the comedy club, baby. It's pretty late. It's about 1040 at night. Um, we're gonna go in there and see where they are. My friend Phil Andrews already signed me up, so I should be on the list. Hi, dog. What's up? Okay, guys, I just checked the list. There's still 11 comedians before me. I'm going up second to last. It's getting pretty late, but there's still some people in the room. Right now, I'm in the upstairs of the comedy club. This is like the second room in the comedy club in case they ever want to have two shows at once. They can have a smaller show up here. And I just found a tiny bong in here, too, and there might be some more weed in here. Oh my god, and there's a little joint, too. Guys, if you ever find a random bong sitting around, you gotta rip it. <laughs> Yo, you got any advice for me before I go on stage? I don't know, is this being recorded? No. Because I'm not gonna be genuine if it is. It's not being recorded, no. Uh, it seems like you're lying, because I see your camera <laughs> and I see the mic. There's no microphone. You're a really bad actor. That's my advice, you're a bad actor and stick to your jokes. All right, stick to my jokes. I respectfully refuse your advice. I'm going to go off script. <coughs> okay, coming up next is Michael Wood. Yeah. Get out of the way. Thank you, Comedy Club. Thank you, Comedy Club. Yes. This is the greatest opportunity of my life. Boom, guys, we did it. It wasn't that good. Pretty much the entire crowd left except for one table. So I was performing for one table, but they were a good crowd, but I was just kind of goofing around because it's the end of the open mic. So I started off by making fun of another guy. Dude, I love that one guy. He's like up here two people ago. He's like, oh, everyone just left immediately, all those assholes. 
And then he just left immediately. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, he dipped. I pretended that my microphone was my wiener size, and then I flipped it around and said the microphone cord was my actual wiener size. It was really dumb. I have no idea why I did it. Uh, guys, this is my uh, wiener size. <laughs> guys, I'm kidding. This is my actual wiener size. <laughs> I told that joke about cancer th again. Does anyone in here have uh, cancer? <laughs> Wait, really? No. no? You wish? I was thinking, what if the cure for cancer was just something really stupid? Like the cure for, like you have to take a bath in butter. <laughs> or you have to eat 20 hot dogs. Like has anyone actually tested that? Could that <laughs> potentially be the cure for cancer? And then I told them to shout out any word and I'll make a joke about it. And they said frog and I actually don't have any jokes about a frog. So I tried to make one up on the spot, but it was really stupid. I have a joke about all, like anything. You can just give me any word, I'll give you a joke about it. Frog. Frog? <laughs> you say frog? You said any word. Yeah, I did say any word. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So uh, I used to have a pet frog and uh, I would feed it random insects from my yard every day, but one day I killed it, I fed it the wrong thing. Yeah, you're not supposed to feed it penis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was hoping you would say grandma when I asked for a word. I was hoping for grandma. <laughs> Frog is good too though. You guys have been a wonderful crowd. Thank you so much. Yeah. Goodbye. That was the set tonight. I'm glad we got to go to three open mics and get in a lot of practice. I want to start writing some better jokes. I feel like I've been in kind of a bad joke writing slump lately, but I think I need to get a writing partner. I might start writing with my friend Dennis again. Either way, we're going to figure it out. It was a lot of fun. Shout out to Natalie and Cole for coming to support. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow night, we are not going to open mic. I'm going to a concert with my friends, a giant music festival. It's going to be crazy. But I'll see you guys again on Saturday at Murph's Pub. It's going to be a lot of fucking fun. I fucking love you guys. Peace out.